Okay, here we are. Welcome everybody. Uh, it is Monday, December 12th, 2022 and pursuant to chapter 20 of the acts of 2021 and extended by chapter 22 of the acts of 2022, this meeting will be conducted via remote means. Members of the public who wish to access the meeting may do so uh, via Zoom or telephone. No in-person attendance of members of the public will be permitted, but every effort will be made to ensure that the public can adequately access the, the proceedings in real time via technological means. Can you scroll down for me, Maureen? There's a Zoom link to join um, and telephone number uh, to join the meeting. Sorry. They're either here or they're not, right? To join the meeting by telephone, call 301-715-8592 and enter the webinar ID when prompted. Um, at the meeting, the Design Review Board will conduct the following business. We'll have a roll call and uh, review three applications on DRB FY 2023, number 11, to review the proposed signage for a new restaurant called Royal Chicken and Kebab, uh, number 12, Pioneer Valley Signs, and number 13 from the town of Amherst. We will um, then move on to approval of meeting minutes, then general public comment and other business before adjourning. Oh, Is that um, it? Read the yep, all right, so now I will call the roll, um, and if you are here, please indicate by saying aye. Uh, Catherine Porter. Here. Tom Long. Aye. Becky Longwood. Aye. Thank you, and Lindsay Schnarr is not present. Okay, did I miss anybody? And Erica Zikas, I'm here. And uh, just for the record, Maureen Pollock, our staff representative is here and this is her last uh, meeting and we want to extend our gratitude for her uh, care and feeding over the last many years. We will miss you. Okay, so our first applicant tonight, Maureen. And Maureen, we can't hear you. I think you have to be closer to your mic in this setup. Oh, oh, oh I'm sorry. Better? Yep, that sounds good. Okay, then. I couldn't hear you at all. Um, try it again. Is it better? Better or worse? That's better. Yeah, yeah that's good. Okay, that's cool. Good. I think I just had to adjust it. Sorry about that. So the okay. first um, applicant here uh, or application is um, is to review the proposed signage for a new restaurant called Royal Chicken and Kebab located at 1A Boltwood Walk. And um, in the applicant's name is Rafi uh, Colum. And let's see if they're in attendance. If you are, could you uh, raise your hand? I'm not. I'm not sure if that person is here. Hmm. We have two uh, members of the public present. One is deaf. Is a staff member, so it's not him. And then uh, Bernice, maybe. Uh, maybe they're here for a different matter. So I could go ahead and share my screen, um, mm -hmm. and we can. Um, Provide, uh, you can provide a review and recommendations uh, without them here. Um, and then you can forward them along to the building commissioner. So let me just pull this up. Oops. Okay. So, so this is the proposal is to, we can scroll up is to install a single-sided light box in the overhang of the restaurant, replacing the current panel. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so this is in the rear of, um, behind the uh, Boltwood uh, 
the garage on the the rear side of the, of the buildings um and this is where um this new restaurant would be located with the signage and i did email them and ask them if they were providing any like lettering or decals or logos or what have you in the windows of the door or the window and they said not at this time okay so and i saw that you also in the in the app in the packet uh, materials packet online indicate that you shared a, a an email exchange um, from the owner um, and you um, about the height of the sign oh that's for the next one that's for the next one okay yeah all right all right so um here we have it a black framed sign above the door. Does anybody want to share a comment or question? <clears throat> well, right offhand, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, I'm not attracted to it. I don't think it's an attractive sign, and, but I maybe others can add something to either convince me it is or suggest something that might make it more appealing. It's just something about it. Uh, I don't think it's aesthetically pleasing, but I, if that's what they like and you all like it, I'm fine. <clears throat> um, I don't remember what, whether that lights up or not. I, I don't remember. Single lighted sign i think it's going to be lighted from the interior okay. projecting out probably the white is translucent tom yeah i mean uh, you know i mean i agree with catherine and i think one of the problems we've run into is that sometimes these are their logos and they're not all good um and it's hard to critique a bad logo because this could be on menus, this could be elsewhere, this could be on a website, and <laughs> it's not really, it doesn't behoove us to start to control people's logos. Um, I do think that the sign could use some space, or the logo could use some space around it. Um, I know they're trying to maximize the, the size of that, but it feels really crowded, but otherwise, mm -hmm. like, yes, don't love it, but also, don't really love Jeff. The other logos in the downtown area, but we can't we can't change them. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Actually, it's not the logo for me. It's that chicken and kebab in the red background. Uh, mm. I, I don't know whether maybe instead of having all caps, have maybe have some lower case in there or a different color. Uh, I, yeah. Yeah. Um, I didn't, I didn't look them up to see like if that is in fact part of the logo or if it's just a convenient way for them to, to say what they're serving. Um, but I think given that this is what they're suggesting, we, we could suggest using lowercase if it is not their current logo. Um, I do think it, it kind of, it becomes a slippery slope. If it's their logo, I would say that we should probably steer very clear of it. But if it's not, then we might make a suggestion. I think Tom's suggestion of shrinking the whole thing just a little bit to uh, introduce some more white space around the text is a good idea. It would make it a little less, um, <clears throat> Uh, a little softer. Yeah, I can't find um, a website for them at the moment. I'm, I'm trying to hunt it down, but um, I mean, that would be helpful to see if it was on their website. But. Yeah. Yeah. Well, do we know? Okay. It looks like the, well, the designer or architect is from Sinorama, mm -hmm. um, and we don't know where. Yeah. I don't know who uh, the applicant is. I don't know if they're part of the sign company or right. if they're the restaurant. I was right. just thinking there's another way of figuring this out. I don't know. I mean, I think that um, 
there are probably a number of things that we could suggest, you know, maybe instead of red behind the chicken and kebab, it's orange to match the flame or we could do, I, but it's to kind of, to me, it's a bit of a slippery yeah. slope. We don't know. Yeah. Well, um, do we know if it's a chain or if this is one end of it? This is one. It's not, it's not coming up. Yeah. I, so, I'm, I'm trying to find it in Amherst and then I'm trying to find it regionally and I can't locate yeah. it, so. I loved as well and couldn't find it. Well, you didn't well, find it either. Uh, perhaps if um, there is, if this is the sort of sole location, you could put that in your like record if you want to have recommendations. Mm -hmm. You yeah. could say, you know, you know, unless unless this is part of a whole brand, like an established branding um, yeah. package, could you change the color to orange to match the flame and? reduce the scale yeah. portions yeah. of the, yeah. Or maybe put the- You uh, know, some towns do make McDonald's scale back their signs. This is true. Yeah. Right? <laughs> I mean, so, we can, but, but we would never, McDonald's would never change their logo. So I, like, I think like part of it is like, we can we can tell them to make it smaller is kind of what I was saying, <laughs> but we can't make them change it if it's if it's part of their brand. So I agree, with, and and I think we could come up if this isn't your your logo. Like, what are some recommendations? I mean, um, I am a little worried, uh, Erica, that if that red goes to orange, that the white text is not going to be all that legible. I, so, I agree. I hear you. Um, um, all right. So yeah. we have. I think I'm, we're hearing a little bit of consensus around a tier one. They should reduce the whole thing. How do we define by we adding more of a, board, a white border around? Uh, yeah, especially um, between uh, like the 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 long ends at the edge yeah. of the R and the ends of the B. Um, and then tier two is additional recommendations. So I'm hearing a few things have come up. Catherine suggested maybe upper and lower case for chicken and kebab. Or how about a black lettering for chicken and kebab? Uh, I think that's what's bothering me is the white lettering. So I don't know, maybe that, what do, what do you all think about having the letter in black to go with the royal black? Mm -hmm. In that case, I would probably recommend that the red go to yellow or orange. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. It's just something not right about it. Uh, yeah. It does feel a little out of the, out of the, left field yeah it just yeah. Not right of course so it's, it's not, not in the most it's not in a very significant place oh no, it's not but uh it will face anybody that's i don't know coming through mm -hmm. there but even so it, our job i think is to try to offer best suggestions we can and it, yeah just say that one one more time but the letters you want the chicken kebab letters to be black on an orange field mm -hmm. on an orange field <laughs> yeah background. like the box the box oh so have the the background not red but orange yeah I, I okay. think that that's also part of it it's very like ag not aggressive is a wrong word but it's very in your face when it's, it's red yes just disorienting when it's orange and black it'll just feel really seamless and yeah probably less offensive yeah and keep in mind these recommendations uh, uh are for the building commissioner so i believe maybe they need a building permit or article 14 yeah. approval. and so uh, the board can say you know the building commissioner will have those conversations uh about you know if this is a chain and this is going to totally ruin their branding scheme or um or yeah. if or if um would the applicant be agreeable to the DRB recommendations. Yeah. Uh -huh. That would be great. Yeah, I appreciate that. Uh -huh. um, is there any additional uh, discussion on on this sign? Mm -hmm. All right. So if somebody could... so. is this where the other one was? The other chicken place? I believe just... so. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Okay. White hood before it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, all right. But did somebody like to entertain a, a, a make a motion? Sure, I'll, I'll move to um, 
approve with the, um, let's say, the recommendations noted by Maureen. Yeah. And a second? I'll second that, yeah. Great, thank you. Um, all those in favor? Raise your hands. Aye. Say aye. Great. Unanimous. Thanks, Maureen. <clears throat> Okay, right, so next we have, let me pull up the agenda, um, is uh, Pioneer Valley signs to review the proposed signage for a new medical office called Cambridge Biotherapies located at 7 North Pleasant Street. And I believe we have someone in attendance. Let's see here. If they could raise their hand if they're, yes. Okay, so it looks like Bernice, I'm going to make you a panelist. Just one moment. Hi, Bernice, if you could, uh, if it's possible to turn your video on and then uh, introduce, state your name and, and, and your affiliation and what you're proposing. Hi, I'm Lisa Young with Pioneer Valley Signs. So we are proposing to do a flag mount sign. And I guess you all probably have a picture of that. Yep. So there was a question at the height of where it would be from the ground up and I'll make it uh, 10 feet high up off the ground if that's what we need to make it. I put it at 96 inches, but I could make it higher than that if we needed to. I see. No, just one second. Um, so uh, per building inspector Dave Cody's recommendation, he suggests uh, raising the proposed sign to be at least 96 inches above the sidewalk to the bottom of the sign, mm -hmm. um, just so it meets, um, is not projecting into the sidewalk and it becomes, um, is not an issue with MAAB regulations. I just wanted to show that. And I think code code allows it to be a little bit lower, but you also want to avoid people like reaching up and whacking. It. Absolutely, so twenty six is a good good height. <clears throat> and then the question becomes, can it align with other things? So um, I should allow my colleagues. Does anybody want to um, begin conversation <clears throat> about this? Are there any other signs uh, on the street that are? Uh, standouts like that. I, I know around the corner we have several, but yeah. on North Pleasant, do we have any others? I didn't notice any. No. Okay. Um, yeah, you know what? Um, I do think that the place that was the monkey bar, I think they have a blade, they used to have a blade sign. I don't know if that's there anymore. Yeah, I forget mm -hmm. they did some changes. Yeah, and I think it's close enough to the corner that if you were standing on the corner, you'd see the blade signs both down Pleasant Street and uh, Main Street. So I, I, I don't. So I don't it's know too big of an issue with that. Oh, whoa, whoa, sorry. <laughs> um, I mean, in 96, it sounds pretty reasonable, and I'm not sure there's a lot going on that it would need to, like, totally align with next to it um, when I looked at the facades. So I don't, I don't, I feel like if we're just meeting regulation, then I, I, I feel like it's okay. Um, yeah. Yeah. It'll look nice. It's a good looking sign. It'll be pretty yeah, changed, but yeah. Yep. It's oh, up. there's a blade here, actually. Well, I don't yeah, know if you call it. Yeah. Isn't there one down the street, Mom? Yeah, I, I, I can definitely sort of visualize what you're talking about. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, wait, no. It oh. could also be the side of the awning or something we're seeing, but yeah, I mean, it doesn't much matter. 
Uh, anyway, uh, actually, that's I'll far, that, far enough away that you're not really trying to align with anything. That's Maureen. There's too much there. Maureen, pause, pause where you are. Oh, yep. Um, hold on. Let me uh, let me just draw. It is up here. Um, zoom out. It's up here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Weird but true. I don't know who sees that. Oh sign. yeah, right here. Yep. <laughs> I guess oh, if you're yeah. walking, though, all that walking traffic, you know? Oh, yeah. Well, the awnings are there. So I just want, yeah, I guess right. you can see it from pretty far yeah. away. Yeah. But yeah, no, I don't, I have no problem at all with blade signs downtown. So I'm, I'm okay with that. And um, Maureen, if you want to head back up the road, um, for me, I, you know, I think it's in a, a pretty open spot in the sense that there's, there's not a lot of like really important elements that I want it to align with. Like even the doorway is way too tall for it to try to mm -hmm. align with. Mm -hmm. Maureen, yeah, we need 90, a PR set here. Probably somewhere. the top of the door, the smaller door in, in the in the opening. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. There's another one. Oh yeah. I don't I don't I don't know if it's still there. Hold on, sorry. sorry. I feel like I'm I'm like driving. Hold on. I gotta, I gotta well, turn you're a bad driver. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I can't, I can't recall, you know, I, Lincoln's still there. They haven't. Yeah. The real there. estate company. Yeah. I think it's fine. I, thought, I think it's, yeah. I, I like the color and I like the concept of having it there. Okay. I think it's quite attractive. So. Yeah. The blue um, against the red or it personally drives me nuts that there's three letters in the middle, and <laughs> I, 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 I like, I just, I just, I can't deal. And I, I really want them to swap med management for TMS so that it could be at the bottom and it would feel a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. But having it, I mean, I understand if it's the second most important thing from a marketing perspective, it makes sense. But if it's not, I'd love to see it go to the bottom. And I think it was, I, I would feel more comfortable with that, but that's just a more of a personal OCD thing. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm fine with it. Don't you like the balance? <laughs> it's, sure, it's balanced. It, it wants to, it wants, yeah. It, it's kidding. funny, you know, it, it, it graphically, it's like it really reinforces the center line, which then makes Cambridge feel like it's out of, yep, it's off, out yeah. of alignment. Um, I the, I think it's it's fine. It's lovely. I think that um, and it, this may just be a question of scale and pixels. Um, but I find that biotherapies and Cambridge are a little pale. They're light on the sign. That the stroke weight is low, and so the contrast isn't very high. Um, That's their yeah. logo. Sure. Yeah. yeah. So we didn't distort that, and they picked the fonts. So we'll, I'll throw the med management in the middle in the TMS and I'll throw that to them and see what we got. Yeah, and that'd be great. Reduce the font size by like five points just to got get it. a little bit more blue around them to give the, the logo a little more space. So re uh, reduce the uh, font size. Just uh, of the, the, the three therapies, the ketamine therapy. Yeah, therapy. it'll be legible from that distance at that height. Yes. Therapies by, uh, by uh, 0. 0.5 points. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I was just a little bit, like by a little bit, okay, 10%, by, something. By 10 okay. And what was the other recommend? You had one other recommendation? Were there any? I thought Becky liked it. Catherine liked it. Yeah. Okay. Just about and then just about swap TMS and med management was Tom's comment. Yep. Okay. Fantastic. Um, are there anything? Is there anything we missed, Becky? Did you want to add anything? Oh, you're muted. I saw you leaning in. I thought maybe you had something well, to say. I think highlighting the biotherapist. It's a little hard to see, and that's important. I kind of looked at it and said, "Gee, I don't know what that is." You know, at quick glance. I mean, if I were closer and left, of course, I'd see it, but. My sense is that it's probably when, I mean, it's a, it's probably the light 
or even ultra light, but I still think on a blue background when the light hits it, I think it's going to be totally legible. Um, okay. You know, it's going to be small and understated, but it'll be legible. I think I'm curious if it will be illuminated enough. No. Legible. I know it's not illuminated, but will there be enough light to see it? Because whether adjacent lights, street lights, downcast lights. I bet lights, those street you know. lights will light it up. Yeah. Because there's Cause one... that corner, it's right on that corner. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. And I, I'm just, I'm going through Google looking for where the actual lights are. They're pretty high up. Yeah, I'm wondering. Yeah. Or maybe this is this store next door. If they're awning lights up, it might even illuminate that too, you know? Yeah, I mean, I don't necessarily think it's your uh, it's not your problem. I'm just I'm curious because a lot of them are illuminated down the street. But that's it's mostly a daytime, actually, for the most part. A daytime yeah. business, so I'm not. It's yeah, a daytime business. Not too concerned, except for right about now when it's four o'clock and it's dark. But <laughs> that's just. <laughs> All right. Well, if there isn't any other yeah. um, additional discussion, should we move to? Uh... Sure, I'm. I'll move to uh, approve with the noted recommendations of uh, the typography and height adjustments, as and well as anything else noted by Maureen. And that it should be 60, uh, 96 inches above. Yes. yes, please. The bottom of the sign, 96 inches above the sidewalk. I second that. Great. Thank you. All right. Everyone in favor, then, please uh, say aye. 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 Great. Thank you very right. much, Lisa. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Oops. Okay, so now last but not least, we have Jeremiah LaPlante, uh, who is uh, works for the town. I'm gonna make, Jeremiah, I'm gonna make you a panelist. Just one moment. Hello. And Hi. Jeremiah either is at at the office or he's nope. no. He is nope. this is my virtual background, so it looks like I'm at the office. <laughs> well played. <laughs> brilliant, brilliant. Uh so let's I'm opening up the agenda one more time. Uh so Jeremiah is here to have you all review the proposed. Uh, metal siding on the building walls at the North Fire Station at 603 East Pleasant Street. So um, I'm happy to share my screen, Jeremiah, or if you have it up ready. I, I don't. Yeah, That's if you fine. could share, that would be great. Oh, one more time. Nope, this will be my last sharing <laughs> screen for the DRB. <laughs> okay, uh, hold on a second. Okay, I have it pulled up. Okay, so does everyone know where the North Fire Station is? Uh -huh. Sure. Okay. <clears throat> Take it away, Jeremiah. <laughs> All right. So uh, one of the projects that I've been working on with the uh, fire department was uh, to get some new siding on the North Fire Station. Um, in that uh, picture above that we see uh, be behind that, or uh, there is uh, like a T111. Uh, it's a common material you would see on maybe sheds or, or it's that that type of a structure. Anyhow, um, that marine grade T111 is essentially dried out. It really doesn't hold paint any well, and um, a lot of the paint has been chipping, even with um, it being maintained. So what we're trying to do is update that siding, uh, as well as uh, just to create a little bit more um, curbside appeal for the building. Uh, and that would be with, with some color change. Right now, and uh, from what, what we're hearing, um, the building isn't very well 
known in a, in a way. Uh, it's not it's not well seen from the from the street side. So uh, uh, by by giving it a little bit more more color, a little bit more contrast, we can we can uh, draw some some attention to the building. <clears throat> So here's, uh, yeah, you'll see all four sides and you can see how much of the building is. So that darker gray is where there, there would be the metal siding would go. So it's, it's, it's not a lot, but it's certainly by changing it to that deeper red, it, it, it really does change the overall look uh, of the building. Um, so here are the colors. So the the uh, the contractor that that we had hired or, or is going to be using this Bridger steel steel material, and it comes in all of these colors. And with speaking with uh, the assistant chiefs and chief and and some of the captains, we we sort of uh, come up with this colonial red. It's not the super bright red, but uh, but I think it, it looks nice. There was a couple of second and third favorites, but uh, this is the one that seemed to predominantly everyone enjoyed. <clears throat> and um, yeah. here we go. See the kind of the overall. Yeah, and I, where you see that sort of a uh, black shading above the garage bay doors, the uh, apparatus bay. That's where their sign is now. Uh, so any of those those fixtures would just be, you know, removed for the, the siding installation and put back on. And I have, I'm looking at the Google Street View on my other screen, and it's like you said, it, it's the TP one eleven, but it's um white right now. Yeah, it is. It is really. It's really light. Um, yeah, like a Dover Dover white mm -hmm, or mm -hmm. something like that. Does this building have? Um, does it ping historic registry in any way? I mean, it's got to be over fifty years old, right? Um, Forty something. Yeah, yeah, I, I, we're probably approaching that, yes. Well, that's an interesting question. I mean, I think we I mean, can it's, evaluate it's a, it. It's a, it's a brutalist building from a period. And I have, the, the only thing hanging me up right now is like, I, I actually like the red. I think the red is great. It turns this into this Bernard Shimmy building. It's kind of cool. I like it a lot. Um, I just, I wonder, um, I wonder if there are voices out there, people who want to like preserve this kind of thing and whether we've talked to those people or mm -hmm. whether that's something we should be concerned about. Uh, how, well, that could be part of your recommendation that, that, um, I think Paul makes a really good point. Yep. I mean, UMass obviously has done a great deal of work and this is not a UMass building, but it's adjacent to it. And as part of that um, uh, array of buildings from that era that um, kind of treating it with uh, um, some respect and just making sure that this is not stepping on its toes, if you will, because um, I agree with Tom. I think that the, like it's a fire station, it's red, it calls attention, it does all the things that you're mentioning, Jeremiah, but we probably want to make sure that we're acknowledging its uh, architectural significance. Yeah, and you know, the town obviously has the uh, historic commission and yeah. um, and so we, you know, you, you as a board- We have a member of the historic commission on the panel. Oh, yeah. <laughs> My hand up. Yeah. Um, so I, I just wanted to say that um, the Historic Commission has worked for a really long time to change the guidelines. And I'm not sure when this is effective, but we are changing to 75 years. 
Uh, I'm just not exactly sure when. Mm -hmm. And so that might be something we could check um, because then it's a new point if it's expected now. Um, well, and then. I mean Sorry, Becky, go well, ahead and finish and then Tom can jump I in. Was just, yeah, I was just gonna say, I mean, if there's concern about its historic value, you can certainly take it to the commission and have them weigh in, mm -hmm. I think. I'm new to this, so tell me if that's um, a possibility or not. Yeah, I think we could refer it if we felt like we needed to. Yeah, that was my thought too, that Becky, even if it wasn't, I just, I look at like the front entry and like there's, it seems like it, ha it has significance to me in the sense that I recognize the period it's from, I recognize all of the details and why they're there. And I could tie this back to the Breuer buildings, to other buildings on campus. Like I, there's, there's an aesthetic here that is so part of the DNA of this area and then the, you know the the campus and then the adjacency of the other campuses that I would love for the, the historic board to look at it but I mean Jeremiah you have my support if they say sure you can do that um you have my full support for that so I think my thinking would be to recommend it to to approve it with the approval of the historic board mm -hmm. or Catherine, historic Catherine, do you have any thoughts on this no, yeah, I like the red, and uh, I can see the right. point about checking it out. I remember that discussion at the planning board, um, and also the fact that the police, you know, in a way, I don't know, get too cute here, but the police station um, is right across the street. And I drive by this, this is my corner, so I've been by this a zillion times. It just sort of the, yeah, so we have the red brick there, and, you know, and I, so in a way, it would have a nice complement. The the red would have a nice complement to the police station if you want to get really cute about it. But um, yeah, I I agree with what Tom has said. Let's mm -hmm. just see if there is any historical if there is any concern. Though I as I remember Becky when you were saying that, I remember that discussion of putting it to seventy five years. So it may be a moot issue, but. Uh, I think to be sensitive, uh, it wouldn't be too much of a challenge to check it out. So, yeah, and I think it could be, it could just be, it might not be a time period that it is relevant, but maybe it's the architect. Maybe there's something significant about it that we don't know. Yeah. And that's, that's, that's my concern is that I don't know, so I don't feel- Yeah, I feel like I should know, and I wish my, colleagues were still in the building tonight as Steve Schreiber would do for sure. Um, all right. So and it's of course um, historic buildings can be renovated mindfully and thoughtfully. So I think you're you're hearing I'm hearing from the DRB tonight that we all like the red, but we'd like this to be run past the historic commission prior to approval. So if we could make that referral, we can have them hear it first okay. and then we'll be yeah. we'll give it a quick thumbs up if they do. Yeah. If they're fine with it as presented, yes. Do you feel like this would need to come back? No, I don't think it no. needs to come back. No, that would be the question. Can we can we vote to approve it with the provisional? Approval? Yeah, with the review and approval yeah. of the historic commission. Yeah, I think so. Is that a motion yeah. we can make? Yeah. 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 And then somebody could check out who the architect is to see if there's a significance yeah. there. Yeah. I, I can look it up. I, I okay. believe I have uh, the uh, some of the plans. Good. Yeah. I don't know and it was a one off on the campus. Yeah. You're giving me a greater appreciation of it. <laughs> to me, it was just this fire station. <laughs> now it's got aesthetics to it. <laughs> People travel tours, miles yeah. to see buildings like this, Catherine. What's there's that? tours. There's tours that walk around this campus to look at buildings that most people ignore on purpose. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to pay more attention now. I, I always like to think that wh whoever designed the Nissan Cube 
saw the front of the fire station because yes. the uh, front window is very similar to the Nissan <laughs> Cube's window. <laughs> right then. So, um, uh, a, a motion uh, from somebody on the make a motion. Did he? he I, was that a motion? I think it was a motion, but I can okay. say it again. Yeah. Right, one more time. <laughs> so we. Um, I move to approve the changes to the um, exterior, the red color, pending the approval of the historic commission. Fantastic. And a second I, 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 I Thank you, Becky. Okay. And then all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Great. We've got it. Referred. So referred. Thank you. Thank Thanks. you. Yeah. Sorry, we couldn't get this done for you today, Jeremiah. <laughs> that's, I apologize. That's, that's quite all right. <laughs> I I just feel I, I'm just a little little uncomfortable with it. That's yeah. all. <laughs> that was a very good catch. That was a very good yeah. catch. Okay. Fine. So we go very quickly. All right, now we have four rounds of meeting minutes. Do if there was anybody from the public, would we want to spare them yeah. this? Oh, it looks like the applicant for the chicken uh, for the um, royal royal chicken kebab. Here, um, Rafi. Uh, so good, good news. Um, do we want to have this person speak, or um, I could just review the recommendations for their benefit. Or, or would you like them to speak? What were the recommendations? It was to add more of a yeah. white border, uh, especially to the left and the right and the uh, in the bottom, and then um, provide black lettering. Should we just pull it up? Would it be helpful? Yeah, I think that given that the, um, I know we've already had the discussion, but we did have a fundamental question, which was whether this was their logo or it was a sign um, yep. that you know kind of accumulated some additional information. So if they could answer that for us, that'd be great. Hi there, this is uh, Rafi. Oh, you're muted. I apologize. Hi. Hello guys, how are you? Hi, Rocky. Hey, Thanks for getting here. Um, we already had a discussion about your project, um, about awesome. your sign, but we did have a have a question for you. Yeah, sure thing. Um, and we we have some recommendations, but we had a question first, and that is, um, is all of the text that we're seeing your logo? Correct. Um, so royal yeah. with chicken and kebab in a red rectangle is your logo, or is it just royal and no, it's actually royal. So the way my logo is, is actually was supposed to be so royal up top and the chicken and kebab underneath. But since uh, the way the sign is, like it's so narrow, that's the way it had to come out sure. to be. Is that because you're using an existing sign and you're just putting in a panel kind of? No. So basically, like if you see in the picture from where the staircase is to where the bottom of the sign is, so from my understanding, I, I believe they said it has to be a height clearance. So uh, that's the reason why we had to go that route. Yeah. So can I, can I just have you clarify that that whole sign then is your logo? Correct. Yeah. Okay, okay. Because, yeah. and, and typically that would just be underneath it, right? So yeah, so basically it would be double. royal chicken and kebab. Right, so it would be a lot smaller in comparison, typically, right? Yeah, if I have uh, my other it's phone. A, it's all right. We, our our question our question came up because we wanted to try to figure out um, how we could if there are ways to aesthetically improve or rearrange things. Um, but what we don't want to do is mess with clients or or um, the community members' logos because those are important parts of your brand, and we want to be consistent. So yeah, I mean. Um, Sorry, uh, I wouldn't mind of taking, um, you know, feedbacks from you guys to uh, see where, you know, uh, have yeah. your input. That would be great. But other, <laughs> other than the way the um, sign designer, he tried to work it out. So he's like, there's really not much of a wiggle yeah. room. 
So other than that, that's what we came up with. Got you. Okay. Yeah. yeah, well, one of the recommendations we had keeping this piece of art um, as is was to give it some a little bit of space. And we understand we want to try to maximize the size of the type, but it yep. feels like it's encroaching a little bit too much on the edges. And it would probably be a lot more comfortable and a lot more aesthetically pleasing if it had a little bit more space on the side and the bottom to breathe a little bit more like it does on the top. I mean, from my understanding, I believe that's how like the previous, uh, the last two previous owners that had this space, I believe it was White Hut and the Honey Crisp. I believe mm -hmm. they had their sign or their logo, uh, the way it is, like from this lengthwise. Yeah. But right. coming down to um, the height, you can't really don't have much. Yeah. Know, so if you right. just imagine taking the whole, like all of the text, it's this big. Yeah. Just make it a little bit smaller, yeah, just so that we see a little bit more yeah. white around the letters. So sure, it's not, absolutely. don't change the shape of it. You could just kind of shrink it just a little bit, just the text on the white box. Yeah, you see how you have the white up here? We yep. would like to probably see more of that on the side here and more of that on the bottom mm -hmm. here. So that would just mean shrinking this artwork that you have, shrinking that down like 10%, not, maybe not even, just to give it some more space around it. So basically you guys want to see more white in it? Yeah. Yeah, just a, it'll it'll make it feel a little bit more balanced and probably less I don't know, crunched into there. Gotcha. And okay. and then Tom, Tom, you know how you you showed that visual of a little uh oh, I'm, you can't see my mouse, but you show yeah. the uh of more of a white border on the on the on the right at the bottom mm -hmm. and then also on the left. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it'd be just kind of getting a little bit more space kind of all around. It won't, it won't require too much. Just a little bit of space here and there. Um, but it'll it'll make a big difference, I think. Okay. Sure thing. We can get right. This Didn't down. we also suggest a different color background and perhaps we black. did. We were we were also discussing whether you might like to try a black chicken and kebab text on an orange rectangle. But given that this is already your artwork, and as yeah. Tom suggested before, it might be showing up on menus and things that yeah. it's probably not worth changing because we're not trying to suggest that you're changing your your logo design. Um, yeah, since it is had, uh, yeah, I apologize. I actually had a design design this for me. So we're kind of like past that phase so yep. like it's what we yep. have approved on totally yep. understand. yeah all right so and then is what it is yeah we're back to our, our tier one <laughs> suggestion um and i think that was it maureen did we forget anything that we had no it was just about the sort of board uh more space uh and then and then the, the font text uh, oh oh uh um, but it was making the white font black and then the background from red to orange, but it seems like those two items might not be able. No. Correct. Correct. Yep. Okay, then. Yeah. So the motion stands. Um, we we'll get to ignore tier two. <laughs> so. Okay. Thanks. When will you open? Honestly, we're just wrapping up everything. So I didn't actually know Amherst had a mandate on the gas, coming to the gas part. So I had uh, purchased equipment and not knowing there was uh, a mandate on it. So now it's like ran into like a little obstacle. But other than that, we finish our main, you know, cosmetic work part, you know, with designing and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah. Um, and just so you know, it, um, the moratorium, the gas moratorium is not an Amherst specific thing. Um, the gas yep. company, uh, they, put a, they put a moratorium on um, uh, a variety of communities, basically in Hampshire County and Franklin County, and perhaps that's some that's communities that's in Hampton, Hampton County. And that's a an result of the pipeline. Yeah, uh, yeah. So yeah, I really uh, didn't know until yeah. the gas inspector was here, and he was he had educated me on that part. So I was like, oh, I learned something new in this. <laughs> yeah. Well, I I bought a stove. I did the same thing. I bought a really nice uh, uh, gas stove for my house because we have gas heating, and they right. wouldn't let me plug in my gas stove to my house. 
Oh, so I, to, I now have to run a propane tank out in my backyard and nice. power my, power my yeah. stove that way. So maybe something to consider. Um, and uh, Mr. Gollum, if you do intend to put any signage in your windows, like yep. a vinyl sign on the door, anything you that needs to run through this committee as well. So absolutely, I believe uh, I received an email regarding that as well. Okay, great, yeah. great. Well, we wish you Thank luck you so in getting set up. Appreciate yes, you guys. Good luck. Thank yeah, you. Good luck. Awesome. Thank you. Guys. <clears throat> Thanks. All right. So now some. Did anybody read the meeting minutes? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Okay. Can we do them as a batch or do we have to do Can we them do them as a batch? Yeah, that's a great okay. question, Tom. I'm, I'm asking because I wasn't here for uh, one or two of them. So that's right. I wasn't either. So, oh, right. You might not have been with us yet, Becky. Um, we might not be able to vote. We might not have a, I guess we would have a. You have to have a quorum of people who were in attendance on that date. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm trying to figure out. No, you don't. No, um, I, I've dealt with this before. Um, you, you, you know, you can approve in good faith that you know yeah. that the meeting minutes uh, were duly recorded and are, are reflective. And I believe some of you were at each of these meetings. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, yeah, I was there. Yep, that's true. Um, I'm just doing a quick skim. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had missed two back in August and September, I think. Well, are the uh, attendees listed on the minutes so we would know? Yeah. 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 So, so, uh, so I think we've been um, in the planning board it has been noted that people are, are allowed to vote on minutes even if they weren't at that meeting. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. If they yeah. watch them. Yeah. I don't no, know. I think just reading them and, and understanding what happened. Okay. I don't care. Yeah. yeah. yeah so think... July 7th one, if you guys want a, a, a refresher, um, the one of them was for Lisa Kent for signage for Esther Kent Family Law and Medita uh, Mediation Office, and yeah. that is at 17 Kellogg Ave. That's next right. to um, the studio, next studio space. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then the next one, it says Image One Industries. Oh, this was for uh, proposed signage for m and t Bank. Uh, yeah. Yep. At, um, at 25 East Pleasant Street. That's what yeah. I'm about. And then um, Town of Amherst for um oh uh, for the proposed proposed signage and kiosk for the dog park yeah then, well that's a done deed uh, well done. no 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 that's just a temporary the the signage out there is just so temporary. temporary well they had the kiosk though the key we but we had a big discussion about the kiosk we did. Was already up oh. yeah. okay all right um and then so that was that was the july meeting and then whoopsie and then and your notes on that looked accurate to me, yeah. for you, yeah. That felt yeah, like an accurate representation of the meeting. And then the August seventeenth one, that was for the um, Unitarian, the UUSA church, right? Yeah, one, the one, shingles, one. right? Yes. Um, and and oyster guys, bar. Yep, the oyster bar. Um, and that's when they came back and. Um, because they had to because they needed a new roof and they yeah. they had listened to your recommendations from the prior time um and so you you had positive recommendations for that and then this one is for adam and the Brooks. bank of america yeah oh yeah the pink what was that for sorry uh to review the proposed exterior light fixtures adjacent to the bank of america atm uh -huh. oh where is that 75 e oh yes yes now this is ringing a bell yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah, it wasn't a big deal. It's just a Yeah. Um, okay. And then, so that was the August meeting. And then September the 28th, it was uh, Quinch Juice Cafe yeah. for a backlit LED wall sign. 
Um, and then you, you provided some good, some really good recommendations for that. Um, and then Sam Dong. Uh, oh, for Lao Yu Tong. Uh, I don't know if you guys have seen the wooden elements in the window. They're lovely. No. Um, that was from a follow up meeting, and he had the the signage that he redid the awning, uh -huh. and yeah. then had a a logo so sign on on the um, on the awning itself. It looks quite lovely. I don't know if he's if that restaurant's open yet. And um, protocol Amherst. That's for the proposed signage and planters for the new Plants, restaurant. Planters are up. Yeah, yep. I see them. I see them up. Yes. Um, and then oh, and then Dagmar. Dagmar, yep. Yep. And that was about the outdoor furniture, and then I thought we made a good suggestion about the positioning of the sign for Dagmar. Mm -hmm. I don't know what they're going to follow. It. Yeah, and then so that was September 28th, and then October the 26th, it was, oh, I guess, Quench Bar again. Wait, mm, did we, did I just open the same thing? No, you might have skipped one. Oh, it's funny. maybe it's the same October. No, Wednesday, October 26th. Oh, this is interesting. Uh, well, let's ignore this one. Um, well, I have that. Wait, what? What was on the twenty sixth? Maybe I saved it wrong. The spoke. No, I think it was Quench Bar, and the Sam Dong was also on that day. Oh, am I just getting confused? Okay. Yeah, so because we had the Sam Dong. He came back for the screen. Oh yeah. So that's yep. why he came back. I was at that meeting, and he came back from the screen. Yep. And then yep, yep. The last one there was for the spoke, which was the big. Uh, uh -huh. graphic on the window uh -huh. yep and then for the drake uh for the um her uh the, yeah. the marquee yeah. sign marquee. Yeah. right and i was late for this meeting and so was this the one that i was late for Sorry. yeah yeah um, okay. oh yeah asterisk erica zikos joined the meeting at this time <laughs> let the meeting minutes reflect that no no <laughs> um okay yeah. So Quench came back again, or is Quench misplaced? Yeah, why is Quench up there? Uh, I don't huh. remember them being there twice. Maybe. Oh, because they came back because they then proposed lettering in the window. Yeah. OK. I forgot about that. So I will ask that staff, uh, as they're taking in DRB applications, um, to just loop back with the applicant if you know yeah. if they're proposing like a blade sign or a wall sign, just make sure to ask, well, are they proposing any like lettering in the windows mm -hmm, to the mm -hmm. or, or whatnot? Okay. All right. So we've done a quick review of the meeting minutes. Um are is there any discussion? Does anybody see reason for um proposing change? No, they read well to me. Okay, then is there somebody like to propose approval of this okay. group of four? I propose that we approve the this group of four minutes of four meetings. Second. With no oh, additions. Yeah. Mom seconds. <laughs> and barring any further discussion, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. I mean, no, no, no opposition. Okay, we have approved meeting minutes. We, <laughs> I think the only thing remaining on the agenda is public comment, but I gather that nobody's there. Just us, just us five. And no other unanticipated business. Okay, that's it. Our last meeting with Maureen. Oh, it's not going to be good for us. I got I must say, and I say this to staff, I really, truly enjoy these meetings. I find I'm a visual person, so I really enjoy <laughs> all your insightful uh, recommendations. And I, I've definitely felt like this has been a learning experience. And so now when looking at storefronts, for instance, 
I, I definitely look at, look at it with uh, cool new, yeah, with a new lens. And um, yeah, so uh, I, I really have enjoyed working with you. Well, we've enjoyed having you. I can assure right. you of that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I really appreciate how much you've taken care of us and how much communication goes on exactly. with, yeah. the, with the applicants behind the scenes. We, yeah. we know you do that and appreciate it. Yeah. Just right. putting you all to our doorstep. So, well, thanks, Maureen, and Thank thanks everybody for yes. this evening. Okay. See you. Thank you. Go sure. enjoy your dinners. Best yes. wishes, Maureen. Thank you. Wait, do we have to move to adjourn? Yeah, we have to move to adjourn. <laughs> so move. <laughs> I'm I go. all right. Bye, Maureen. Bye, bye, everyone. Bye, everybody. Best wishes. <laughs>